Have you ever considered the possibility that Earth might eventually become an uninhabitable wasteland, whether due to a nuclear war, an asteroid collision, or a rogue AI? The future of our planet could be bleak, casting a shadow over our delicate existence. While this might sound like a scene from a science fiction movie, remember that dinosaurs are no longer part of our world. Meanwhile, the visionary billionaire Elon Musk has taken a step ahead. Last year, he outlined his ambitious plan to establish a backup drive for civilization by sending humans to Mars. Now, he has unveiled further details about his vision to transform humans into a multi-planetary species. In this video, I will walk you through SpaceX founders' plans for colonizing Mars. But before we delve in, take your time to like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content. Alright, in case you haven't noticed, Mars is one of the closest habitable planets to Earth, even though it's a whopping 140 million miles away. It still receives decent sunlight and cold temperatures, which can be warmed up by humans through the compression of the Mars atmosphere. Humans can grow plants on Mars, and it's worth noting that the atmosphere is primarily composed of CO2, along with some nitrogen, argon, and other gases. Just a reminder, a Martian day is like Earth's day, but with 37 more minutes, lasting a total of about 24 hours and 37 minutes. Plus, the gravity on Mars is approximately 38% of what it is on Earth. Historical facts have proven that humans can adapt and survive on Mars with relative ease. However, Elon Musk mentioned in an interview that the first humans on Mars would likely die, but only after they have successfully completed their Mars exploration and lived out their lives. Apart from the fact that the journey to Mars will take around six months, it will require approximately a thousand spaceships and a million tons of resources, including vitamin C, to establish a viable life on Mars. And guess what Elon Musk is daydreaming about? A self-sustaining city where Martians the humankind, not the alien ones, can thrive without needing constant resupplies from Earth. One major obstacle to Mars colonization has been the issue of resupplying ships. Although NASA has confirmed that their supplies for the planet are intended for sustaining life there rather than tourism, the question of resupplying from Earth remains a challenge. The sustainability of life on Mars hinges on accurately assessing the resources needed for successful colonization. Judging from the fact that the planet is slightly different from our Earth, those that find themselves on Mars might experience a little bit of difficulty, especially without enough supplies to last them for their intended time there. Interestingly, SpaceX hopes to send up a starship on the back of the Super Heavy Booster, which Musk commonly refers to as the Big Effin Rocket, or BFR, carrying nearly 13 tons into space. SpaceX claims ownership of the most powerful rocket booster in the world, the Falcon Heavy. Hence the need for the BFR, which will be able to carry about a few hundred tons to space before the eventual 1,000 tons. As a matter of fact, the BFR is planned to be 25 stories high, with about 42 powerful Raptor engines, which can lift an entire Boeing 747. In his plans to colonize the Red Planet, Elon Musk outlined that the BFR will push Starship into space and that it will connect to a similar booster already put in place to provide support throughout the journey to Mars. SpaceX's Starship transportation system is designed to send reusable rockets to Mars about three times per day on average. These rockets are like space taxis that can launch and return multiple times. Each launch can carry a heavy 100-ton load, with around a thousand launches every year, each carrying over a hundred tons of cargo. We'll have a massive 100,000 tons of stuff ready to be sent to Mars. To make the most of this, about a thousand of these starships would carry about 100,000 people from Earth to Mars every 26 months. Why that specific timing? During this time, the paths of Earth and Mars will align perfectly and get closest, making travel between the two planets more efficient. This alignment only happens once every two years, providing a special opportunity for quick travel. Most of the rocket's fuel is used to get into orbit around Earth. However, additional tanker spaceships can be sent to refuel the rockets for the longer journey to Mars. So what about life on Mars? Elon Musk has mentioned that while a full-scale human settlement on Mars won't happen right away, 
there will be many more opportunities for jobs and a different way of governing compared to Earth. People on Mars might have more say in their decisions through direct democracy, and the laws could be simpler compared to Earth. When it comes to food, it will be grown in special farms, powered by sunlight and water, either underground or in enclosed structures. The landing area for the Starship has been carefully chosen near water and ice beneath the surface. This spot gets plenty of sunlight, which is important for the solar panels that will provide power to the settlement. Refueling the spaceship will be quite convenient using resources found on Mars. SpaceX's ships use a type of fuel called liquid methane and liquid oxygen. Interestingly, this fuel can be easily made on Mars through a process called the Sabatier process. This process uses nickel to turn carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere into methane, which serves as fuel. The water ice on Mars can also be used to produce this fuel. The advantage of this fuel is that it burns cleanly and allows rocket boosters to be reused multiple times. The journey to Mars takes around 26 months, and SpaceX engineers have calculated that to make the Sabatier process work, which creates fuel, they'll need about 56,600 square meters of solar panels. These panels can be easily transported to Mars in a single starship. By the way, have you heard of Elon Musk's boring company? It's a company on Earth that works on solving transportation challenges. We think the Boring Company could play a role in the Mars colonization too. They might be responsible for digging into the Martian surface to access the water below. Also, to protect the people living on Mars from harmful radiation, the first settlements might be set up deep underground. These underground encampments would provide safety from the damaging effects of ionizing radiation as for how the connection with the colonists on Mars will be maintained, let us know your answers in the comments section. With the Starlink satellites supposedly opening communication paths between both planets, it shouldn't come as a surprise to know that Elon Musk might make use of autonomous vehicles like cars or trucks to carry out distant and difficult missions for the colonists. Although it has not been explicitly expressed, the vehicles might even be used to move products for refueling on the surface of Mars. For a fact, we do know that Musk really wants the first starships to be filled with machines and cargo necessary for proximate future missions. These equipments are needed for humans to build enough sustainable facilities to generate power, tweak the Martian air, gather water, and transform the raw resources into oxygen and methane fuel for safe return launches to Earth. The first two uncrewed starships will confirm the water sources on the planet and locations that pique interests. They will also determine the possible effects of future hazards, what the hazards might be, and set up necessary infrastructure for further explorations, including perhaps a launching pad for subsequent crewed spaceships. Let us assume the first reconnaissance launches are successful. SpaceX could go ahead to send manned starships to Mars. Elon Musk also touted that a Mars base could be completed by 2028, and a lot of life support experts have expressed their doubts, basically for the fact that they do not believe that the necessary technologies for life will be ready, not to even mention a permanent city for colonization. But we all know Elon Musk, and he has a flair for achieving the slightly unthinkable. And for the Red Planet, he aims to make a backup for humans after life on Earth becomes unbearable. NASA, however, does not believe in the possibility of lasting terraforming, as there may not be enough trapped gases to sustain a comfortable planetary atmosphere. Compared to Earth, Mars has less than 1% of atmospheric density, which makes it synonymous with a vacuum. Currently, SpaceX is building its first set of Starship orbital vehicles and conducting tests in a South Texas facility very close to Earth's core. From this facility in Boca Chica, Texas, it launched many test flights of Starship prototypes and is preparing for many more tests to come in the future years. While the process of colonizing Mars will likely take several years, the eventual outcome will definitely be worth the wait. Thank you for tuning into our video. We'll be back soon with more updates.